Welcome to another episode of Michael's Corner. Now, this is my first time in over a year that I interview wrestlers at a wrestling show. This pandemic kind of, you know, shut everything off. But, but you know what? It does. It's not going to stop me from inter doing tonight's interview because I am interviewing. Coda Jacobs, how you doing? What a way to come back, Michael. Resuming your interviews, and boy, you are kicking off with a bang, my friend. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing You know me. I am just continuing on this campaign trail we call life, but also the campaign for a brighter future in wrestling as well. So... My question to you is... You got time for two questions, Michael. Hit me with two questions. Right. Make them good. Throw me some softballs. How did you get your start in wrestling? Well, as you know, of course, you've been following me for many years. I'm a product of the Academy, School of Professional Wrestling, trained, of course, by Mr. Ken Anderson, Mr. Sean Davari, two world-class men and two attitudes that I think you see come out in my world. You see that I've been taught to do this the, this thing we call professional wrestling in a certain way. So that's how I began. That's going on near four years I believe now. Coming up on four years. And of course I continue every day striving and thriving, continuing towards a brighter future in wrestling in Minnesota and beyond of course. All right. Next question, young man. So you recently went to um, Ohio Valley Wrestling. That's correct. You see a lot of me down there at OVW in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So so how do you like that organization? You know, I believe that they have taken quite a liking, and they certainly see a lot of value in Coda Jacobs. They certainly believe that Coda Jacobs brings a lot of valuable attributes to OVW. They see that I am a man that can truly influence and change that product. OVW has grown more this year than it has in the years past several years. It is a very exciting period of growth in OVW and I like to think a lot of that is due, of course, to Coda Jacobs and what I bring. They know that I am the voice of change that the OVW constituents have been looking for for several years. Does that answer your question, Michael? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So, if it were up to you, who do you want to wrestle next? And it better not be me. Why would it be you, Michael? <laughs> You're the only one thinking of that idea. If I had to choose one person, you know, it's funny we just mentioned, a man that I've never competed against is my instructor. The man that taught me, oh, and I know this is an old cliche, he taught me everything I know, but oh, he hasn't taught me everything he knows. We all heard that one before, right? <laughs> I'd like to see about that. I'd love to see Coda Jacobs versus Mr. Ken Anderson. Did you guys hear that? Did right. you hear that, Mr. Anderson? Coda Jacobs wants to go one on one with you. You got connections, right, Michael? You can make that happen. Oh yeah, I got oh, yeah, connections. Yeah. yeah, why don't you have your people call his people and then my people call his people? Yeah. That's you right. Know I'm gonna put the ball in your court on that. Why don't oh you, yes, uh, yeah. Why don't you start connecting those dots for me, pal? <laughs> so, and one final question, because um, I know you got a lot of stuff to do. That's right. You're very accurate in that, yes. What do you think of M.A.W.? What do I think of M.A.W.? It's thrilling to be back at M.A.W., of course. Yeah. You haven't seen me at M.A.W. in nearly two years. Okay. And you know what? I think they've missed me. I think they've needed Coda Jacobs all this time. There's been something missing all this time. And I think it's very exciting that we're able to explore that avenue again. What does Coda Jacobs bring to Midwest All-Star Wrestling? And what can Midwest All-Star Wrestling do Coda Jacobs and the campaign for a brighter future in wrestling. These are the questions, Michael. These are the questions we should be asking right now. Yes. Yes. So, okay, and to wrap up this interview. Put a bow on it. Where can fans follow you on social media? Of course, you know I am 
frequently on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter at Coda Jacob underscore and on uh, Instagram at Coda Jacob Wrestling. I am on my social media platforms every day. I am always bringing something new to the table to keep my fans invigorated with the journey that is the campaign for a brighter future in wrestling. Yeah. All right. That does it for this episode of Michael's Corner. Uh, uh, you guys Michael's take... patio. Yeah. That's right. So, um, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.